My name is Cal Molinay from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today I'm here at the Compass at VCU once more to spread the message of freedom. But more importantly today, to spread the message of peaceful parenting since today we're co-oping a federal um, status holiday, <laughs> President's Day. Uh, so I have with me a stack of uh, peaceful parenting pamphlets that I'm going to do my best in trying to, to pass out and reach as many people as I can today about Talking about peaceful parenting, adopting it, you know, you may not, uh, you, know, you, you, you might, yourself might not have uh, children, but you know friends, you know family, uh, you know other people that someday might, you know, so help them um, understand what peaceful parenting is, lest, you know, their children grow up to become tyrants. So with that, I'll continue doing what I do best. Thank you for your support, guys. I'll see you guys at the Victory Party. Take good care. So that's the hidden violence behind government, and that government only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems, uh, versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I, I agree. Like, the government is, like, it just always is forcing its will onto the people and whatnot, and there's not really much of a choice that people have other than you know, voting for a candidate that will hopefully not do that, but right. not even then. Like, <laughs> not Same even advice then. that they gave your grandparents and they still say, well, you still got to vote the right guy. Like, you can't have a lifetime to vote the right guy yet. Mm -hmm. Right? And now, yeah. now I'm born and I'm stuck with this, these choices, you know, evil versus evil. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah. My dad, actually, he works for the government and uh, he, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is like, he used to be a defense intelligence agent, so he went to Iraq and whatnot, and he did all that. And, um, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of discussions with my parents, and I'm just like, you know, there's a lot of things that are not going well in the government, the things that we should not be doing. Right. Like, we should not have our affairs in fo as many foreign countries as we do. Um, we shouldn't be doing the um, uh, the drones, no, no, drone bombing children, mm -hmm. uh, weddings, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, in Afghanistan, yeah. And whatnot. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's rough. It's it's bad because my parents are very like strictly like. Well, we do we do what the government tells us to do because we you know get paid by the government, right? And whatnot, so it's a. Uh, it's kind of messy talking to them about that, but um, it can be complicated. Um, and I prefer for the most part, the only people that can uh, can reach out to uh, to those kinds of people will be the children, right? The yeah. sons and daughters, reach out to mom and dad. Um, you know, to advocate for government is to advocate majority opinion onto me, yeah. right? Uh, so you support it, you're supporting your preferences against my my will. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, and that's not to say like we're trying to put parents in a position or anyone who works with the government in like an uh, evil corner, you know, yeah. so to speak. That just happens to be the matrix we're born into, mm -hmm. right? Until people realize, shit, I had no idea it was like this. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. take the time, however long that takes, it's up to you to start unplugging, go into the private sector. Mm -hmm. um, instead of being in a position where your salary comes from uh, the productivity class, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. nearly half your income to, to support the public sector, right? Mm. Government sector. Yeah. Uh, they, don't, they don't create anything. They don't mm. produce uh, capital. They're not a business, right? Mm. Uh, like USPS, $60 billion in debt, right? Yeah. They have a whole monopoly on delivering pieces of paper, but they still can't function well, right? Yeah. Uh, they can't move like you would as an entrepreneur, as your own business, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned you're interested in films. Yes. Uh, commercial or uh, um, uh, independent. Independent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like I like um, I like some commercial movies. Like there's some good ones that come out, but it's a lot of the same stuff. You know, a lot of political stuff that like you know the political ones get connected with the awards and the ones that are you know the most violent and fast and yeah. you know hit you hard will be the ones that win unfortunately <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but there's some still this is still really good stuff like independent cinema and uh, some of the uh, really good auteurs that are still around are still making good stuff like I think the Coen brothers are excellent for that um, uh, David Lynch hasn't really come out with anything in a while, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I I prefer uh, independent cinema the way I prefer like independent music right. as well. Just like have you found you it know. difficult to produce stuff um, with like copyrights getting in the way mm -hmm. sometimes? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. On YouTube, they got like I'll put up just one little bit from a song that is owned, and it's just. 
cop, Gone, just yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that, that itself is another government intervention. Uh, intellectual property, for example, wouldn't exist yeah. if there was no government. Uh, you can't, I mean, an idea is not tangible. It's not like a, a car, a camera, a tree, something you can hold, some real property you can exchange, right? So it's like uh, when someone says, well, you're copying, uh, you just stole my music. No, I didn't. No, your sheet of paper where you wrote your music on is still there. I just yeah. used my own piece of paper and, you know, maybe I improved upon it, maybe did a remix, uh, but I didn't yeah. steal your music. You can't steal words, letters. Mm -hmm. Symbols, yeah. patterns, right? ideas, shots. <laughs> yeah. So what government has done is granted a, a monopoly for individuals to apply for a patent for a copyright, and no one else is allowed to speak those letters, right? Mm -hmm. Like singing "Happy Birthday," you have to pay a royalty fee, for example. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah, so you can't use your own vocal cords to produce sounds without uh, being fear of being extorted. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's th those particular areas hamper creativity. <laughs> but, um, um, you know, prevents uh, innovation or ways to kind of express yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, cool. That's my my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, so that's that's how I talk about like the, the ways that every every step in the corner you find governments in there trying to prevent you trying to be free, trying to express, mm -hmm. trying to be creative, yeah. um, trying to have the freedom to do what it is you want to do without having half your income stolen, or you can invest that into you know more camera equipment. Yeah. All uh, right. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's it's interesting because um, the way I've seen the government affect my family, especially my dad, has been really. It's been kind of brutal on him because he's uh, he commutes to work every day. He commutes to the Pentagon. And, uh, he gets up four in the morning, commutes, comes back, commutes, and when he gets back, he's just a zombie watching CNN, just like can't. It's kind of hard to talk to him yeah. about things. He's just watching TV, going to bed, going to the next thing. And um, it's been it's been interesting because it, it, a lot of the sort of uh, political things he believes in, he doesn't really have any, you know, core values because he's he works for the government. Right. He has to do that. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a compromising position. Mm -hmm. um, like you say that like, I don't believe in, uh, violence is not a viable solution, but you find yourself in that position where that is the only solution. Yeah. Um, it can be, especially since you've invested a lot of years in that, in that particular area. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can imagine it can be hard. You, you said you try to talk to him sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I've I've talked to him about it, and just um, he's very. Uh, uh, he they all have like sort of very fixed ideas about um, the way uh, the government should be, and the way that like families should be raised and whatnot. They're very against marijuana right. and drugs and stuff like that, and very against even tattoos or like any sort of like. Um, and a lot of the music they like is not very, it's very like, you know, right wing type stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, yeah, my dad's a Democrat, so he believes in a lot of um, sort of uh, left wing things, but he works for almost entirely right wingers. Right. Well, so, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard for him to be able to have any sort of like decision in his job right. because it's very much you know what he has to do for the next you know thing whatever they're doing and why are you not following uh, the footsteps <laughs> uh no well, what, what about it wants you to to break free from that and go this independent uh route uh i guess i've i've seen a lot of war movies <laughs> <laughs> i've seen that movie <laughs> yeah i saw full metal jacket i'm not about i'm not about to go join the military like now. why like, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> yeah. you're not defending my freedoms yeah. you're bombing your children overseas it's not protecting me anymore <laughs> nope not at all right <laughs> and uh, go ahead. yeah no my dad went to Iraq and uh, told me all about it. And it's like I don't need need to be a part of that. I'm not trying to get shot or blown up for a cause I don't believe in. Yeah. So there you go. And I, I would I'd prefer to do something artistic and something to in my community than do something you know abroad for the country or something right. like that's, well, that, that's that's giving then what, what what you would be doing then right that's that's actually really giving to your community that's voluntary interaction consensual yeah. um you're not uh stealing people's property calling taxes to fund your projects right exactly yeah. uh you know I, I think that's that's the area that i think for the most part we need to focus on in our own community right it's here where we're losing our freedoms not Overseas, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, well, my name is Cal. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Me Alex. Too. Alex, pleasure to meet you. I got pamphlets yeah. if you like. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, cool. Be awesome.
Aired. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nice. So like you're, you said, your parents are like against cannabis. So what will end up happening if there was no government? It'd be focused community oriented problems, right? Mm -hmm. Non-violence solutions in the same way we're already using in our lives. We don't so use violence to solve problems. You yeah. end up having like thousands of diverse communities, right? Yeah. Some of them kind of exist already, like golf course communities, 51 and older communities in Florida. You can have mm -hmm. your 420 friendly apartment, one across the street. That's not. I'll never mm -hmm. force you to do that, which you don't want to do, right? Mm -hmm. Grant me the freedom exactly. to own my own body and do what I will with my own yeah. body, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But with government. It forces everyone to be one huge community, mm -hmm. right? With the majority opinion and preference. And you don't have that rich, diverse uh, areas of creativity that you can branch off to. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you don't have like individual communities creating art for themselves or um, uh, entrepreneurship in which, you know, it's more, you know, making sort of a profit or making profit with the people around you as yeah. opposed to, you know, enforcing that yeah. Not, yeah yeah and that's real growth yeah mm -hmm. that's real wealth that you create mm -hmm. cool yeah well, it's a pleasure yeah. to meet you man yeah, no, you thanks too, for dude. stopping by yeah <laughs> i want to go and get some food all right man take care